I saw the ability of not rendering evil for evil, but showing patience and respect, beautifully demonstrated by a widow, Anne, who showed kindness when rebuffed by another. Anne was assigned to visit teach another woman in her ward, Betty, who had recently lost her husband. Betty was beside herself with grief and loneliness and pushed away any attempt by ward members to approach her. As Betty explained later, I was angry and frustrated and I could not bear to be around others. At the same time, I longed for someone to break through to me. I just didn't know what to do. When Ann went to Betty with some flowers to express condolence, Betty pushed the door shut in Ann's face, loudly telling her that she did not want visitors, did not want or need anything from neighbors. Ann slowly walked home, wondering what she should do. After spending a few minutes praying and thinking about her own loneliness and sadness, Anne decided to return to Betty's home. After knocking, Anne was surprised when Betty opened the door. Anne pulled Betty into an embrace, held her tightly and said, I am so sorry you are hurting. Rather than pushing Anne away, Betty melted into Anne's arms and sobbed, all the while saying, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. My father-in-law used to say that people need love the most when they are the least lovable. The ability to move past individuals' upset and anger comes when one sees that the expressed emotion is not necessarily the primary emotion an individual is experiencing. What allowed Anne to cut through Betty's angry exterior? I believe it was patience and respect. Patience to know that Betty's grief was masked as anger and respect born of Anne's recognition of her own loneliness and sadness. While Betty did not appear to be very lovable, Anne recognized she needed love and compassion. I would be my brother's keeper. I would learn the healer's art. Thank you.